Hi, this is Dirt Farmer Maggie from DirtFarmerJ.com. Recently, I started a heritage cooking series, and today I'm not really going to give you a recipe more than a quick tip on how to ripen one of these little dudes really quickly. Have you ever had a time where you were asked to bring guacamole to, let's say, a barbecue at a friend's house? And it's on Saturday afternoon, and Friday evening on your way home from work, you say, ah, I never went to the store to get avocados. So you go to the store, and every single one of them is hard as a rock. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to invite Dirt Farmer Jay to join us, and he's going to tell you how to ripen that avocado overnight. Hey, thanks Maggie for letting me be on this episode of Maggie's Kitchen. I'm gonna pass on to you a technique that my mother gave us several years ago and has become a family tradition. When you go to the store and you're gonna buy avocados, many times they're underripe or they're overripe and they're mushy and you're not sure whether you're getting something really good. So what we do is we buy avocados underripe, very firm, and then ripen them using this method. Now, if you go up and do a search right now on the internet, you're gonna find there's probably about four or five techniques that are being put out there. One, uh, for instance, is heating them up in the oven foil wrap for uh, 20 minutes at 200 degrees and then letting them soften and so forth. Or put them in a paper bag with other fruits such as apples or bananas, or put them in a bag themselves. Uh, there's even a microwaved uh, method, which, um, I think is really spotty. And uh, the reason that this is going to work and what I'm gonna show you is method number five that is uh, of the five that I found on the internet. One of them happens to be the one that my mother taught us several years ago. Well, this is what it looks like. This is a big old vat of flour. And this is just regular flour that we use around here. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're gonna submerge a couple avocados down in the flour. It'll give way, we'll completely cover it, and we're gonna let it set for 24 hours. Now, what I've done is I've taken three avocados and I have numbered them so that you can see which ones are which. And these all were bought this morning. They are all very firm. If you notice, I'm pushing pretty hard. Look at, you can see my thumb pressure under my thumbnail. Um, they are really hard. So I'm gonna have Dirt Farmer Maggie reach in around the camera here and just choose arbitrarily one of these as the test, the one that we're gonna set off. Just choose anything you want, okay. For you scientific geeks out here, you always have to have a control that shows whether or not the process worked. So we're gonna take these two avocados and we're just simply gonna do this. I'm just gonna push them down in, all the way in. And then we're gonna shake over this. I'm gonna push them in a little bit more. We'll dust that off. We're gonna cap it and just forget about it for 24 hours. We'll see in 24 hours and we'll just see the results. Okay, it has been 24 hours. Oh, okay, uh, full disclosure here. It's actually been 25 hours and four minutes. Our apologies, but you're gonna get the idea that in one full day, this really does work. All right, so let's come back here. We still have test subject two set off to the side. And inside the flour container canister over here, we have two avocados. Well, let's dig them out. So we're gonna go ahead and take one here. All right, there's, there's our first one. There's number one. And let's dig out our second one here. Should be number three. There's number three right there. All right, let's wipe these down a little bit just so they're easier to see and not so dusty. I'll get my hands clean too. And I'm telling you because I'm handling these softly, they're actually giving in my hand slightly. Let's go ahead and get this flour out of the way, move it off the side, and let's, oh, let's, it doesn't matter which one. Maggie, which one do you want? Point in there and let me know. All right, we're gonna take number three. Here we go. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just slice on the bias here. Well, look at that already. You can see the, that they're soft. I'm gonna go ahead and split that open. 
There it is. But also, let's look at this other one, number one. Watch and see it give. Look at there. See how soft it is? That's in 24 hours, folks. Now, what I'm gonna do here is just to further prove this, let's go and just scoop this out and see, do we have something that's flavorful and soft? Well, yep, look at there. It's ready to go. And then we'll go ahead and take out the seed on this one. Pop that out of there. And here's a little trick. If you're careful and that's not real sharp on the point, you can just right in here, cut this this way. And I can feel on the backside that blade just touching. And then I'm going to go ahead and rotate it 90 degrees and go ahead and slice sideways like this. Again, be very careful with the tip there. And that is a dull blade on the tip, so we're not having a lot of problems. Let's go ahead and put a nice spoon under all that. And look at there, everything pops right out, ready to go. All right, so we had some really nice, tender, is that soft? Well, there you go. All right, well the proof in the pudding really is did test subject two, you know, was it gonna get ripe anyway and were you just shining you? Or does this really work? Well, here's test subject number two. I have a little hitchhiker there. Let's take a look. Well, you can see I'm pressing pretty hard. It's not giving. And we're sorry, test subject number two, but we're gonna end up wasting you because you're not really edible the way you are. But let's go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and cut him or her. I'm not sure how to differentiate. Go ahead and pop the two apart, and I am pushing hard. Can you see my thumb? That is not ripe at all. There we go, I'm pushing hard. It's not giving at all. There it goes, finally. So you can see there's a big difference, just 24 hours. Now, why does it work? What's going on here? Is the flower magic? No, here's the trick. Avocados are still living organisms. Actually, after they've been harvested, the fruit continues to ripen, and when it does, it emits ethylene gas. Tomatoes do the same thing. Any ripening fruit or vegetable does the same thing. But by trapping it inside the flower and keeping all that ethylene gas sealed in, then that ethylene gas goes to work on the tissues of the avocado, and you get this beautiful and tasty result. Because ethylene gas is a natural byproduct of the fruit itself, its production actually enhances the flavor of the fruit. You don't get any funky byproduct taste of any other type of thing that you're trying to do to ripen, so it's a great way there. Now, if you like these kind of tips that really help you to learn how to do things quicker in the kitchen and you're a pomegranate fan, Check out our video right up here. Look up here at the I for information and click on that and you can go and see how to process pomegranates quickly as well. Well, I see a batch of guacamole coming on. If you found this video to be helpful, won't you like it? And better yet, won't you subscribe to our channel? That helps us to produce more videos in Maggie's Kitchen, out in the shop, horticulture and product reviews. Hey, thanks for watching today and thanks to Maggie for letting me get in Maggie's kitchen. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.